This match one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Pampa, Texas, at 285 pounds, Cowboy Ron Bass. His opponent from Denton, Texas, weighing in at 240 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake the Snake Roberts, the only one left out of that trio of Kevin Sullivan and Angelo Mosca and Roberts. Uh, Mosca and Sullivan both have been suspended from wrestling on TV for two weeks due to uh, previous actions and attitudes uh, that have occurred here on television. You know, you know, Gordon, after looking at Jake the Snake Roberts uh, and his involvement with Kevin Sullivan and the occult dealing, black magic, or whatever it is they're doing, I somehow don't feel that Jake the Snake Roberts is operating with a full deck. He, even I saw him back in the dressing room, he sits in the corner, he's kind of spaced out. Uh, the man is obviously has a problem. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that. I, I hesitate to uh, editorialize on the man, but... Uh, uh, I don't think that uh, his elevator stops at every floor, that's for sure. Oh, that's a good way of putting it, Gordon. Uh, right now, it looks like Ron Bass uh, has things under control, and as I don't know if everyone knows it, but about one more a week, the cast can come off of Ron Bass's hand, and he'll be at 110% wrestling efficiency then. Even right now, it seems like Ron Bass is operating at 100% or more. Just that he's got a powerful arm and hanging on that headlock. Many times, a man can throw you off with this, but... Uh, Ron Bass does have the power to really hang in there. Yeah, Roberts tried to uh, slide him off, but uh, Bass just clamped down on him, and uh, they're back up against those ring ropes. Roberts now fires on into the midsection. Now finally does fire him off, but Bass caught him. Good shoulder smash, but uh, Roberts back to the canvas again. There he is with a hip, uh, hip lock takedown, right on top, putting his weight on uh, Jake the Snake's body. Keeping that weight on there helps wear them down, wear the, and get the oxygen out of their body. Keep them breathing hard. Like Ron Bass is doing quite a job out there right now. He's got uh, Jake the Snake in trouble. Broke his hand up in the uh, upper part of the hand, and uh, uh, that cast, however, has uh, been attacked several times. That's one of the reasons that Mosk and Sullivan have been barred from TV wrestling. Well, fortunately, the cast is very hard plaster. If it hasn't been for the strength of the cast, his hand could have been rebroken. If you rebreak an injury before it's mended, then you're really out for a long time. But fortunately, the way the doctors and surgeons put these casts on nowadays, it takes an awful lot to break it. I'll tell you, Angelo Mosca and Kevin Sullivan have done everything and within their power to break that cast off and try and re-break his hand in the same place. But the Mosca and Sullivan, they have about one more week before Ron Bass has that cast off, and also it won't be very long before Dusty Rhodes will be back in the ring at 110% efficiency again. And so that's what Kevin Sullivan, J.J. Dillon, and Mosca, and all many of these men are really worried about, Gordon. No question about that. I might just point out, too, that we've had a, uh, a plague of injuries uh, here of late. <coughs> with uh, Barry Wyndham being sidelined for a couple of weeks with a very severe concussion. Bass, who has not been sidelined, but does have this handicap of a broken hand. Mike Graham, a Florida heavyweight champion with a bad muscle tear in the chest. But uh, right now, that top wrist lock, and it's Bass getting the side headlock back on uh, Snake Roberts. Well, Gordon, another injury that uh, you overlooked there, and maybe uh, deliberately, was the about Charlie Cook hitting the pile driver on the floor just a week ago. And Charlie Cook was injured uh, quite severely. When you get that pile driver on the floor, that is solid under your head. There's no give or nothing there. And so, like you said, there has been quite a long string of injuries. It seems to be all under the hands of J.J. Dillon's men. Right now it looks like uh, the referee is warning uh, Ron Bass about possibly using that cast. But then sometimes uh, you have to use that as a weapon because of the tactics by your opponent. I point out that situation with uh, Charlie Cook was uh, he fell victim to uh, Roddy Piper. Piper who certainly showed uh, his colors in a hurry. Roberts now backing away as Bass started to close in on him. And Bass, tiring of the tactics of Snake Roberts, is uh, stalking his man once again. And Roberts stays on that bicycle. Now moves forward, collar and elbow. And it's Roberts pulling uh, Bass back to the uh, ring ropes, fires him off. Misses with a right hand, and it's Bass. Quick body slam. Well, it looks like we have Jake Roberts just backing away now. It seems like uh, he doesn't have full control of his faculties, but he is smart enough to know when the getting is good, and right now is a good time for him to leave. 
Try to back in the corner and take a 10 count uh, or 9 count. Get his uh, faculties regained. There's Roberts one, down on his knees now, and he's got uh, he's got some problems. No question about that. Absolutely. This man, uh, like we said before, and I said it's not operating with a full deck. There's something going on in his head. Uh, ever since his involvement with Kevin Sullivan, seems like he has been losing a grip with reality. And how much longer this is going to go on, I don't know. Or maybe before long, the man in the little white coat might come to take him away. Bass. Uh-uh, Roberts lashes out with a foot, catches Bass, catches him again. Right hand to the jaw and another one just over the ear. As Bass staggered and back up into the turnbuckle. Snake Roberts. Fires him off and now Roberts closes in on him once again. It's Roberts. Punishing Bass, a snap mare that takes Bass to the canvas. Roberts now going up and... Uh, Changes his mind, and now Roberts exploding with a series of left and rights. The knee to the midsection and a high knee lift, and he has an extremely dangerous knee lift. Absolutely, Gordon. Jake Roberts does the series. Back over the top rope there. What a, what a bad break for Jake Roberts there. Just like he climbed up there and flipped over the top. And I believe he's injured now, and Ron Bass will take full opportunity of this. Bass with a full body slam, and Bass down across his chest as Roberts slipped and went on his head uh, from that top rope and Bass being a professional was quick to take advantage of that situation let me get over and have a word with Ron Bass well as we saw just now Ron Bass was quick to take advantage of that situation with Snake Roberts Roberts apparently uh, plan to come off that top rope right down on top of you. Uh, slipped going up and fell on his head and you uh, got the slam and the pinball. Seems like his master plan didn't work, Gordon. But I want to talk about something else right now. You know, myself and young Barry Wyndham, we've been having a lot of troubles with one, Jay, I mean, uh, Kevin Sullivan and big nasty Angelo Musk. It seems like these gentlemen, they like to come out, they like to use chairs, they like to break bones, they like to give concussions and everything like that for their actions. The NWA Florida Championship Wrestling suspended them from wrestling here on TV. Well, I don't like that for one, because I can't get a chance of them. If they can't wrestle, how can you get out there and wrestle and get the revenge that you want? So let me tell you something, Muska. Let me tell you something, Sullivan. Anytime, anywhere, it's time for you gentlemen to pay your dues. You've been dancing, now it's time to pay the fiddler. It's going to be fire for fire for a chase. It's going to be this right up beside your head whenever I get a chance. But I'm sure you'll be able to do the same thing, baby. Okay, there you have it. Some strong words from Cowboy Ron Bass. Stay tuned. Barbara Clary's Take 5 coming up. <laughs>